Hello, and welcome to the lesson on the routes of European explorers to America. This is the map we will be using and the reading we will be using. Your map was located on page 61, which was back in Unit 6 with the readings. As you're noticing, the map is being filled in with the ancient civilizations we discussed in Unit 6, the Aztecs, Olmecs, Mayans, and Incans. Now our focus is on the explorers and which route was connected to the discussion in the reading. So let's begin with Columbus's first voyage. That began in during fifth, his ver, Columbus's first voyage from 1492 to 93. Columbus probably sailed into what is now the Bahamas, then on to Cuba and back alongside Hispaniola before returning to Spain. Okay, the clues from that reading are very simple. He sailed into what is now the Bahamas. So we're going to have to look on the map for the Bahamas. And then find the route that says he sailed onto Cuba and back along Hispaniola. Using those three keywords, you should have traced the route in yellow that matches that description. You finish the line off by writing the years of exploration and writing the key in, coloring your key to match your line, and Columbus first. Now let's go on to Vespucci. In 1499, this Italian explorer sailed along the northeastern coast of South America. So what is the clue there? He sailed along the northeastern coast of South America. And his first name, Amerigo, is the origin of the name of the continents. Because he was a map maker, well, navigator, and cartographer. And when he went back, he had a friend who used his notes and drew America. And therefore gave him the name. If you have not affected found it by now, that would be the north east side of South America, over by the, the Gint, French Guyana, Suriname, and Guyana, yeah, Guyana, and you're going to trace that in purple with the year 1499. Next one, Columbus, his fourth voyage. He did a total of four voyages over his years. In his fourth voyage, in 1502 to 04, Columbus reached the coast of Central America, which he explored before returning to Spain. So he reached the coast of Central America. That's your clue. And you'll notice that line right there goes into the Central American area. Of course, this line had to be colored green because Christopher Columbus then met some of the Mayans. So it wasn't until 1502 that he met a Mayan. Continuing on, Balboa. Well, Balboa, in the years of 1511 to 1530, this 13, sorry, the Spanish explorers sailed to the Isthmus of Panama, 
from Hispaniola and then crossed the Isthmus of Panama, discovering this Pacific Ocean, which he actually thought was just a sea. He did not really cross it. He climbed the mountain and looked about the area. Well, on your map, it is hard to find this line because it's not already dotted in. So you go between Hispaniola, the island with two countries, and the Isthmus of Panama, and you're going to draw in Balboa's line, his route, with, a, with black dots or with gray over the top. The next explorer, Magellan. It should be starting to get a little easier. Ferdinand Magellan set sail from Spain in 1519. He reached the strait named for him in 1520 and then headed across the Pacific Ocean. The clue there was the strait named for him and the direction of his ending. That is the line that sails right down the east coast of South America through the Strait of Magellan and out into the Pacific Ocean where the ship and the crew almost felt that they were not going to succeed because they could not see any land in sight for many days. Cortez now is also going to be colored in red. He was from 1519 to 1526. This explorer and conqueror, or conquistador, journeyed from the island of Cuba to what is now Mexico and conquered the Aztec nation. So from Cuba to Mexico, there's only one line. And finally, Pizarro, the other conquistador. He journeyed from the Isthmus of Panama southward and boldly conquering the Incans in the years 1531 to 34. So your beginning point is the Isthmus of Panama. And his direction was southward. So if you start there at the Isthmus, you should see that part of the time he was on water, but majority of the time he crossed the land. Finally, Drake. Drake really did not have much to do with Latin America's exploration, but he was important for the Americas. So in 1517, or 1577 through 78, this Englishman sailed along the east coast of South America through the Strait of Magellan and northward along the Pacific coast to North America. So Sir Francis Drake just did the long way to get up to the top, but he made it. And that concludes your civilizations and exploration of Latin America's map.